If you are looking for wired in ear earphone under 3000 rupees then this is the one Sound Magic E11C wait a minute didn't you say the blonde bl03 is the best sounding earphone under 3000 rupees if you want my recommendation if sound quality is your utmost preference then i can't think of anything else in this price range Yes, I did say that Blonde BL03 has exceptional sound quality. However, Soundmagic E11C is the most all-round in-ear earphone under 3000 rupees that I can recommend to anyone. Let me explain myself. But before that, this is Parth. You're watching Infopel. And let's roll the intro. <laughs> Now for every product build quality is really important and the build quality of Soundmagic E11C is quality. The ear piston is made with metal and plastic and it feels solid. The wire does not get tangled also it is not sticky. Now that's important because when a wired earphone is bit sticky there is more chance of snapping off. But even for that you should not feel worried because the wire feels quite sturdy. It also comes with this hard shell zipper case which is really handy to keep the earphone in an organized manner. There is also an inline microphone with buttons to control the volume and play pause music. The middle button can also be used to take an end calls. So now let's take a listen how the mic sounds. This is a call recording from Soundmagic E11C. Basically what I have done is I have called to my second number and right now the call is being recorded for that second number. So this will give you an idea how the recipient will hear from this mic. Also the fan is running in the background which will give you an idea about the background noise isolation. And this is how it sounds when I bring the microphone closer to my mouth. Let me know what you think. Now let's talk about the sound quality and if I have to summarize the whole sound quality in one word then I have to say it is rich and balanced. But that's two words. Anyway, let's break it down. So let's start with the sound signature which is the balanced part. The bass is quite clear and both bass and sub bass are quite distinct. What that means is you can easily feel the punch in the upper bass as well as the hum in the sub bass. Although what you don't feel is any kind of thump or boost in the bass frequency. However, you can easily turn it up using an equalizer. The highs also have a pretty good resolution and texture as well. The acoustic instruments are really joy to hear in this earphone. But by far what shines the most in this earphone are the vocals. It is full and accurate. The balanced sound signature really brings out the details and the presence in the mids. And also if you are someone who listens to a lot of podcasts and audiobooks, you will really enjoy this earphone. Also, it is a very intimate earphone. What I mean is, the sound stage is really good. Not so much the imaging, but the sound stage. So if some details in your soundtrack is far away, you will notice the difference. That's especially noticeable if you are watching some series or movies, which eventually makes watching those enjoyable using this earphone. 
However, the reason why I personally like this earphone more than anything else in this price point, even more than Plon PL03, is that it does not hurt my ear much, even at peak volumes. The same reason why I liked RHMA390. It has sound stage similar to that, but it is pretty close in terms of details with Blonde PL03. Yes, Blonde has even more clarity, especially in the bass frequency, but I don't miss much using this. And add to that the comfort of using this earphone compared to Blonde BL03. For me, this is the perfect earphone under 3000 rupees and probably my favorite earphone in this price point. But that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Anyway, that's all for this video. Until next time, this is Parth signing off from InfoPal and I'll see you in the next video.